Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading for October 2017. This is intended to be a monthly reading. I have shuffled these four decks for you before turning on the camera. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. Oh, look at that. The basis of the reading is you, the sign of cancer. All right. Moving forward, travel could be moving physically, okay? It looks like somebody is moving forward, putting, mastering their emotions, and that is probably you, okay? I think that you must be mastering your emotions pretty well this month in October. All right, the center card is you. That card right there is the basis of your reading. I think that you're very well um, knowledgeable about how you feel. I think that you are mastering your emotions, putting yourself in the driver's seat. You could be moving on from something, okay? Because this card also signifies a, a change, okay? A change. Um, it could have something to do with love and making the right decision, letting go of something that is, is weighing you down, okay? Um, we do have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. We have a Leo here. We have another Libra, so we have Libra twice. We have Cancer. We have Taurus, and that is what we have so far. Um, that I can see for people. Um, we do have the world card here, so that means that there's an ending. And when before I shuffled the cards, I was asking, what did you have? What do you have for cancer? What's going on for cancer? And I heard endings. Endings. So something is ending. And with the world card, that just clarifies that for me. Something is ending. And with the strength right next to it, it tells me that you are going to have to have inner strength. You're going to have to have confidence. And you're going to have to have courage. Okay? Because for this change is it's going to take all of that um it's going to take you mastering your emotions which i think you will be able to do quite easily this month but just beware that you're that you're going to need all those skills okay to start this next chapter of your life if somebody could be blocking you because we have the hair of thought here so that says hold on a minute are you listening to your inner guide are you okay are you really listening to your inner guide because you do have to make a decision about something. I see that somebody could be moving. There could be a change in your home. You could be moving or you could be traveling this month. Um, there's travel or moving, period, okay? I do see that there is a very deep attraction between you and another, okay? Where you probably have some deep, deep feelings for somebody. Um, and it could be, it could even lead to marriage, okay? There could be a, even a proposal this month for people of you, some of you that are attached, all right? Um, you could receive, if you're not attached and you're completely single, you could receive some communication from somebody. Um, maybe they are splitting up because there's definitely somebody who, there's a split here. So you could be splitting up with somebody, which could be the ending that I'm talking about. Or somebody else could be splitting up with somebody um, and then communicating with you, all right? I do see that there's changes no matter what. There's big changes on the horizon this month. Um, and I think it has to do with love in a, in a very big way. It definitely has to do with love in a relationship. Somebody could be moving either in with you or out, in or out, okay? Um, there's definitely some kind of obsession here so I'm not sure what that is about this is kind of like an obsession and feeling like you are stuck in it or being stuck in a situation that you are obsessed with but it's not the right it's not the right thing okay you might be obsessed with loving another person um that could be the case because this is an obs or they 
you might be somebody is obsessed you or the other person is obsessed and and they might be somebody is feeling like a victim but the fact of the matter is is somebody has real genuine feelings for the other okay they're genuine real feelings of love for the other um, and somebody wants a commitment so I'm not sure if it's you or the other person but there is a commitment here okay so this month if you're not in a commitment I mean there could be a proposal all right if you are, don't know anybody yet you could meet somebody at a gathering like a wedding okay you could meet somebody um, could be a Libra could be a Taurus could be a Leo could be a Gemini or Aquarius um, I do see that there's some resistance so some you well, somebody is still obsessed with another person okay so I think and that could be you you know, and you're mastering your emotions, blocking it out, pushing it down, hiding it, you know, and it's weighing very heavily on you, okay? So this month you may be moving away from that because there's definitely moving away because you're starting to follow your own path again, starting to believe in yourself again, starting to do the right thing for you with these two cards, okay? So I, I do, I see that you're mastering your emotions over... Out <clears throat> Because of some past heartache. My ears ringing now. Ringing deep. Alright. There is somebody. There's a loss. There's like a split. There is a split. I'm going to get the next deck. Which is this one. Um, there could be legal matters going on this month. But if there is, it looks like you will be victorious in those legal, legal matters. It looks like things will go in your favor. Um, you may be thinking about somebody from the past. Could be a Taurus, could be a Leo. I'm going to keep dealing before I keep talking. You, you, There definitely could be somebody from the past, okay? With um, And it could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. We also have a Virgo here. And we have this Four of Pentacles again. <clears throat> There's an obsession. There's an obsession. And now, I don't know if it's you or the other person. But there's an obsession with another water sign, okay? Somebody's either obsessed with you or you are obsessed with them. And it's in, you're waiting on communication from this person. You're not getting what you want. And you're, you're really, really thinking about it a lot. Um, somebody just is not giving you the, putting in the effort that you are putting in. They're not giving you what you want. And you've been waiting for this. All right. And it's causing you to retreat. I think that you're, it's causing you to hide out in your shell and just be like, you know, I don't even know what to do anymore. I don't. But you're, but you're blocking it out quite well. I mean, you're mastering your emotions very, very well. And you think somebody is, I mean, this is like a soulmate kind of thing. And this could be you feel like this person is your soulmate. Okay. Or it could be that your soulmate is, um, You're being blocked. You could be ble being blocked with this. You could be being blocked from your soulmate because of the obsession. The obsession with this other person. And I'm not saying that you're, you could be the one obsessed or somebody could be obsessed with you and that just fucks up everything. Excuse my language. But there's a lot of love here to be had. A lot of love. Somebody from the past is either interested in you or you are interested in them. And there's a very strong attraction and magnetic, a lot of chemistry, okay? But I don't think you're getting the um, response that you've been looking for. The magician, again, is about having all the tools to succeed. There's hurt, okay? There's, the, your life is about to change. This is feeling stuck in a situation or remaining stuck in a situation that isn't fruitful, okay? But the magician is saying you have all the tools to move forward and the world is right here. You have all the tools to get through this, all right? Whatever it is, I'm sure that you know what this is.
there's definitely some travel here or moving. Um, and there's some resistance. It's like an obsession. See these two cards? They're, this is These two are the obsession and you have it twice. So somebody is either obsessed with you or you are obsessed with them. They're, these things, they can't let go of them. It's like I, kiss, I can't let go. I can't let go. These are mine. You can't either. It's mine. Okay, so it is. It's an obsession of some sort. But change is on the horizon. This month, I see you moving forward. You may be moving away from it finally. Okay? And you may receive communication with somebody from the past, or you might communicate with somebody else from the past because you have to release this. You can, you've been crying over it for long enough. There, there, there's either somebody from the past interested in you or you're interested in somebody from the past. Um, you have this card twice now, Eight of Swords, and then it's right over here too. So it's feeling like a victim being stuck in a situation that you don't need to be stuck in any longer. It's, it's a, it's, there's no need to be stuck there. You're just wasting time, okay? Now, this is a Knight of Wands. This is a very sexual energy. It's a come and go. Very impulsive. It's just like there is a very impulsive energy here where people uh, fly by the seat of their pants. That's what that's what this person does. And it's like they just, you never know what to expect. Okay? The Hermit, again, you have the Hermit twice. It's a time to refocus on your life. It's a time to refocus on your plan. That is what you're doing this month. I see that. You're mastering your emotions and you're moving forward. You're moving forward away from something that isn't coming to fruition. You aren't getting the the same, um, you're not be, think your feelings aren't being reciprocated, okay, as well as you would like them to be. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. This is Virgo, and you have it twice. This is doing the right thing for you. There could be some hasty words or some mean mean words. There could be some words that are said that are very harsh, okay? But I see you handling it very, very well, just like it rolling right off your shoulders because you're mastering your emotions so well. And the Ten of Cups. Okay, this is the outcome now. The outcome is the Ten of Cups. That's happiness. Okay, once you get through this, happiness is around the corner. But you are going to have to struggle through it. And you're going to have to continue to master your emotions, all right? Um, you might have to step outside of your comfort zone and give a little, a little force. You know, this is... I'm done. Whatever this is, you might have to, you might have to be a little forceful. I don't think you want to stay stuck. You don't want to cry over this anymore. And you're sick of being stuck. I think you've been stuck in this predicament because you really love somebody. You really, really love somebody. And things just aren't turning out the way you had hoped. Your feelings are genuine and real. And they aren't being reciprocated the way that you hoped. Now this could be, it doesn't have to be a lover. It can be anybody. It can be a family member. It can be a friend. Not, you know, not being the, a real friend it can be anything however it resonates with you look to your inner self it's number 11 Look to your inner strength, not self. Look to your inner strength. That's exactly what you're doing, mastering your emotions. You are stronger than you realize. I knew that already. The angels are asking you to dig deep inside of your inner self. The strength is in you. Though it may not feel like it right now, you will be able to push through this. <laughs> We've been talking about this the whole reading. Believe in yourself and know that you have the power within you. That is the truth. 
like I said, you're going to let this shit roll right off your shoulders. Somebody could be very spiteful to you and come after you in a very spiteful way, but you have the ability, all the tools that you need to master your emotions and handle it with tact. And that's what I see. I see you moving forward this month. This is a, a month of um, following your path, doing the right thing for you moving forward somebody could be moving physically in or out of your establishment i hope you enjoyed the reading cancer if you like it hit subscribe um if you want notifications you hit the bell next to the subscribe talk to you later